Hi, my name is Mark Jones, and I'm from Mr. Mark's Classroom, and I want to share with you the three pillars of childhood ministry. I have a lot of people who are asking me, by what standard or philosophy are you putting things together for your kids' ministry? Well, these three things have to be the objectives that we're going to try to reach. This is what I want children to be able to say they've experienced or learned before they move into the student ministry. And the first one is that boys and girls need to hear about Jesus and have an opportunity to respond to him. That means that we're going to train teachers and parents, as well as ourselves, how we're going to share the gospel. And we're going to raise the standard for people to be doing that. The second thing is that boys and girls need to be able to get their Bible skills. Listen, this is the only time that Bible skills are really taught. Bible skills are not taught in the youth ministry or even in adult ministry. It's taught right here with the children. And we can begin as early as the preschoolers, that we can begin working through some of those Bible skills. You know, for a baby, it's going to be the Bible is a book. And then later, it's God's word to us. And then we can even learn how to turn the pages. And I've even had gro gobs of fun with the preschool saying, okay, turn the page, turn the page, now stop. Look at the very top of the book. What is the word at the top? Look for the letter R anywhere and put your finger on it. And we're just looking for the letter R and then teaching them that is the name of the book. The big number is the chapter. Let's turn the page and look for the chapter. Small letter number is the verse. And so you can continue to work on those Bible skills. Even though they're early skills, you can start setting the stage for what they're going to be learning. And then in elementary years, we can learn about all of the memorization things and holding them accountable for that. And as well as we can even uh, look at some key passages and all the books of the Bible. So we should be practicing and working on our Bible skills. I'll show you more about that later. The third pillar in childhood ministry is that boys and girls need to have opportunities to serve. That's right. They shouldn't have to wait until they get until, into the youth ministry to go on a mission trip. There are things we can do right here, even at the church, and, and even more than just collecting food or coats or something, and those are great. Maybe twice a year we're going to collect something, and then a, a couple of other times we're going to go and serve. And so look for ways that you can engage children in serving. So boys and girls need to have their um, need to be able to hear about Jesus and have an opportunity to respond to him. Second is that they need to get their Bible skills. And the third thing is opportunities to serve. Now, there can be fun events where you involve parents to be a part of what you're doing. You, you can uh, create uh, opportunities with the community of your teachers, so that way you're building that community. All those play into this, but don't build everything in your children's ministry on events. Don't build everything on uh, giving your prime time away to other programs. Let it be about sharing Christ discipling them with Bible skills, and having opportunities to serve. 